Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show with you, share with you rather, a haul that I made a, honestly this was like a couple weeks ago, but I am so like just insanely behind on my videos. I am still going to record these and I'm still going to get them out to you guys so you guys can see because I know how much you really love the haul videos. So there's actually going to be lots of haul videos coming up in the next, you know, couple weeks because I haven't posted any of my current hauls. So anyway, into what today's haul video is about. So at my Goodwill, um, I actually really love Goodwill. At my Goodwill, every single Monday, there is a sale on specific colored tags. So all of the tag items are colored. And every single Monday, there's a sale on those specific colored tags. So this particular shopping trip, uh, the color was pink. So every pink tag, no matter what that pink tag was on, every single pink tag was $1.49. So, um, needless to say, I got a few things for my house and I got a few things for my kids. Um, I got a new, like... I'm actually pretty excited about it because I don't really have hardly ever buy things for myself that are outside the crafting world, but I got this really cool like sweater. It's really pretty. Anyway, um, so moving on to what you guys actually care about crafting. So I got this. This is probably my favorite thing that I got. This is, it's. I don't even know what it is, but it's a dish, and it's solid wood, and it's handmade. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that means it's Haitian. And I got this for $1.49. And I just thought that this would look so pretty just sitting on my desk, filled with little odds and ends. Because I have odds and ends all over the place. Still, even though I'm still trying to rearrange my thing, but still have it. Um, okay, and then this thing, so this I'm actually going to open up, but before I do, I want you guys to see it's pink. So this $7.99 is not what I got it for. I got it for $1.49. So I'm going to open this up so you guys can see what it is exactly. And I got this primarily for Sydney because I have a lot of stamps. I don't really need stamps. But it was a dollar. So these, and what's really cool is they're already separated out. <laughs> so that was pretty neat for me. So these are alphabets. They're all little alphabets. These are not labeled at all. Oh, look at that. So, that's kind of neat. I didn't even notice that when I first saw it. So what you do is you put your little stamp in here, you ink it, and then you stamp it. How neat is that? Like I said, I didn't get this because I needed stamps. I got this because it was $1.49. And there is just a we're not even going to go there. There's just a lot here. Um, so this is food, drinks, smiley food. I'm not sure it's smiley food. Oh, that's what it is. Smiley faces. I don't know if you guys can see that. but um, Then this one is things or objects. Like there's a snowman in there. There's bells in there. There's... It's hard to see what they are when they're stamps, but a basket, a hot air balloon, an umbrella, a watch, um, a sand bucket, and a pail, or a sand shovel and a pail. Uh, people. Like, I don't even know if you guys are grasping just how much stamps is here. Um, alien spaceships and oddballs. And plants and flowers. See, I would use that one. Like, I would use that for my crafting stuff. 
Hey, there you guys can see that. But that's what they all kind of look like. They're all just flat like this. And then you stick them in here. And there's a couple of these throughout that I've noticed. Um, and then this, oh, this one's cute. It's even got a little tiny one. Okay, so these are all smaller stamps, right? It's a letter J. But along with all the smaller stamps comes a smaller little peg. So you just stick it in there, ink it, and stamp it. Dude, that is so cool. Like I said, I didn't even realize what this was. Um, like at first, when it was in the store, all I saw were these little stamps like this, sitting like this. And so I didn't really know how to use it. And I was just like, eh, we'll figure it out. It's a dollar for a crap ton of stamps. Like, seriously. That's insane. All of this was in this one package. So it was a dollar fifty. All right, let me throw these in here real quick. And just like marvel at the fact that I, I don't even know. So I'm going to have, like, Sydney's got, sorry, this is really loud. Sydney's got some um, ink that I don't prefer for my crafting. It's uh, the Dollar Tree ink. And so she has that that I allow her to, like, play with and whatnot. So that would be perfect. So I found these, which were not. <laughs> this is actually another day. Um, because I would not pay $8 for this bag. So, I am not mixing up the the haul videos, but I think my daughter decided that she wanted to move things around. Um, so, this past Monday was the blue tag. So, this is blue. So, I, I still got this for $1.49. It was just a different day. Anyway, these are just uh, random scissors. Uh, different various uh, cutting patterns that you can use for edging, which I really like. I really, really like doing that. So let's hope that the rest of this basket is, I think it is. Okay. So I got a basket, actually, um, to try... I don't know if I'm going to keep this for myself, but I had gotten it originally for um, Sid to kind of like help put her stuff in. And this is also a pink tag, but this pink tag was 99 cents. So I got this for 99 cents. Um, and I got some yarn. Um, anytime I can get a lot of yarn for a dollar, I do. Um, so you guys don't know this about me yet because I haven't really put out a lot of videos. Um, actually, I don't think I've put out any videos um, centering around any of my crocheting. But I do crochet and I have a massive yarn uh, like stash. And this is why. Because every time I find yarn for really cheap, I get it. So there's this. Um, I thought it was really pretty. Um, this yarn, it actually, oh, I'll show you. This yarn actually spreads out. It's not just a thin strip of, maybe I'll show you. It's not just a thin strip of um, how you traditionally think of yarn. So it spreads out. And this is what I mean. Oh, oh it's tied with a rubber band. Okay, so anyway. So normally, when you think of yarn, you think of yarn that looks like this. You know, it's just, it's thick like that. But this yarn is really cool because it is wide. See? And you can use this for a lot of different things. You can use it as is, like not crocheting or knitting or anything like that. And you can use it for embellishment with your paper crafts. Or... You could actually crochet with it and you can make some really interesting things. So, um, and they're both like that. They're just different colors. I'm going to stick this back on here. Um, so there's that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got that for $1.49 as well. 
Same thing with this. I got this for $1.49 as well. Um, these are various trims. And again, with uh, the fact that I've done a lot of um, albums lately, I think that I would definitely be able to utilize all of this, especially since this entire package was a dollar. So, um, I, know, I just thought it was really cool. This seems like it's upholstery th uh, trim, which I think it is. Um, it says antique trim. I'm not sure what that means, but it also says that this piece is $18. So, that's pretty neat. <laughs> this one little sheet, or this one little gatherment of trim is supposed to be $18. And that's how many years ago, I have no idea. So, I think I might have got a good deal on that. <laughs> um, and then this one here, I was playing with this one when I was talking about it, to when I was opening everything up. This one's really cool. It's got two different designs on it so it's I uh, got this design here and then if you flip it over it's got this design here and anytime you're working with any kind of like knit type thing whether it's knitting crocheting um, or any other kind of um, threading together like that you're gonna have two different patterns one on each side um, typically because you have like a right side and a wrong side so this is the lace trim Okay. And again, this is all from the same package. I'm just winding this back up is all. I'm going to have to put a new piece of tape on there. This is another lace trim, but much thicker. Like it's a wider lace trim. It's got some nice flowers on there. And it looks like it, it gathers right here at the seam, which is kind of cool. Which means when you lay it down, it won't be flat. You can use it for dimension. I like to mention. And then, so this is what, and then this one is a cream lace trim, which I think is really cool because my particular style of choice is like vintage, and this falls nicely in that. Any kind of browns and creams and um, just darker colors, even if they're um, like primary colors, as long as they're like in that deep like rustic looking uh, scheme, then it falls all into place with the antique -y feel. To me, anyway. Um, I wouldn't use like hot pink with it, you know. Um, let's see. Oh, and I've got some bias tape as well. I got for a dollar fifty this entire package, and you could do a lot with this too. So I just, oh my gosh, that's how old that is. Ha, oh, that's hilarious. So I, for, for one, it says that it's 25 cents. It's just, anyway, that's funny to me. So I bent the paper because it was like all not straight or whatever. And I bent it and it cracked. Like the paper cracked. Oh, that's crazy. So anyway, I have this orange color, this blue, black. See, that's a little more the right price, $1.50 for one. Um, this is a, um, it's another yellowy orange color, a dark navy, and a primary green. So, I got all that for $1.50. And I got more scissors for $1.50. These are the scissors that I actually got for $1.50. Which is kind of neat because I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally show you. I did show you purposely. But the bag that I got more recently had more scissors in it. Had like 12 pairs of scissors. Anyway, these all cut border. So you can have various, um, various different types of uh, additions to your crafting. So, I also got a couple books. So, my husband wanted me to make sure that I look these books up before I tear them apart. And he looked them up and he couldn't find anything. Um, so, I think I'm going to tear these up. 
Um, I bought them because, like, with the intention to use them in my crafting. So, this one was, let's see, to give you an idea of how old this is, this one was copyright, copywritten in 1948. That was the last copywritten, copyright of this particular book. And these pages are just beautiful. I love the edges of them. I love the darkness of the pages. And even the cover, I will be able to find some sort of use out of. Um, so, I almost want to read the book first. I also got this one, which is Bruce Canton, Grant Takes Command. Um, again, this is a older book. I got it specifically for the uses of my crafting. Um, I don't just like randomly tear apart books, guys, I promise. So the uh, copyright, the, la the latest copywritten date on this is 1969. Uh, this one does have a little bit newer of a feel to the pages, but um, I, I still like it and you can definitely like tighter the pages a little bit even just by like ripping the page uh, you can do a lot with that and just by inking the edges of it because it still is a little bit tinted if you ink the edges of it then that is that does a lot honestly so there's that um, I also found these these um, I did pay the normal price for these um, but I saw them and I was like okay I have to get these. So these are taped together quite nicely. What they are, are they're protective covers or protective sleeves. Gosh, dog, that's loud. All right. So there's one that's already open. So I'm going to look at that one first. So what it is, and this is honestly probably the best thing to show you. What this is, is it has three different pockets. And then you have another pocket on each side of that top pocket. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure you can. But there's about 20 in here. I'm not sure. Um, uh, anyway, um, so I actually ended up getting two packs for $5. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Like I said, it was just it wasn't the on sale pink tag, but like I said, I saw it and I was like, nope, I have to get that. I know I can use that for something. It can be a non traditional pocket letter. Um, I I don't even know, but I know I can use it for something. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, and the last few items I got. I got this one, and this one was a pink tag, so it was a dollar fifty. I got this one because of this little guy right here. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so it's a card, and it's a sealed card. Didn't realize that, but um, this single card uh, retails for four twenty-five, which I think is kind of funny since I got the whole pack for a dollar. So, anyway, it's really cute because it's like, this is all dimensional. Like, I really don't want to open it. Um, but this is all dimensional. This is all just created on this card. And I like getting cards because I like using them in non-traditional ways. And then I also like using the envelopes if I can. A lot of times when I make cards, they don't fit in traditional envelopes, so I have to create my own envelope anyway, so I don't know. Um, this is a card. Oh, that's pretty. See, that's the thing with the packs like this is you really only see one side, um, and you don't really get to see anything else. But that's really pretty. You can use that in an album. Um, some traditional envelopes here. Uh, postcard looking. Nope, these are cards. They're just blank cards, but they're really pretty. That looks like a what? No, that's a watercolor. That's a watercolor. That I don't know if that's an old or watercolor. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty though. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. This is a cat. Um. Card, and it's a pop up. 
Okay, no, no, this stuff. It's a pop-up. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's kind of cool. So, anyway, there's that. Um, happy birthday with a cat on it. Oh, the cute little kittens. In order to use this, I might have to cut off the cyst. We may get a little catty at times. I don't have a sister, so I have a sister-in-law. I have two sister-in-laws, but um, yeah. Everyone needs their own spot. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I like that envelope, too. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's a non-traditional horse, or three of them. Um, that's pretty. I like that one. I like this envelope, too. Um, love. Oh, that one's pretty. I like that. Looks like a photo, which is why I like it. Um, a dog. That is really cute, actually. I really like that. And a couple different pet. Like, I'm a little confused as to what this is. Oh, it's another pop-up. Okay. So this is a little girl with a cat. And it's got a pop-up. It's got like a little crib with a kitty. It's got a mama kitty. And that's just really cute. Yeah, do that. Okay. And then another cat with a ball. Oh, wait. Another cat with a ball. I was showing you guys upside down. Oh, that's so cute. It's got kitties playing <laughs> with all the string. <coughs> Sorry, I swallowed wrong. Oh, my gosh. So, that's really cute. I like that a lot. All right, so that's it um, as far as all those cards go. So, I got every one of these cards for $1.50. And I got all of these for either $0.99 cents or $1.50. So, this one is a fabric. Um, it's called FabTac Self-Adhesive Fabric. And I thought that was pretty neat. It's a complete full roll. And then I also got various contact papers that are solid colors that I don't have. Um, and I got a clear one. No. This is what. So, I got what cream, like a kind of an off-white. Um, a teal color and the blue so like I said all of these yeah all of these were 99 cents um, that was 99 cents and this one yeah they were all 99 cents and this one's really cool because this one is it's three yards by 18 inches it seems like it's a lot more though because it's really heavy but maybe that's why it seems like it's a lot more because it's really heavy. anyway so that's it for this haul. Um, I do have more hauls coming up for you guys. Like I've said in this video and others, I am way behind on videos. I'm going to try to catch up and I'm just going to try to record everything right now, record everything today and catch up. And that way you guys are caught up to where I'm actually at. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.